Hello guys, welcome back to my new video. In today's video, I will show number of good components go to goblin statement. And in goblin statement, you have given undirected graph with B vertices and E edges, and you have to find the number of good components in a graph. Okay, a component of a graph is if is good if uh, only if the component is fully connected, and a fully connected component is a subgraph of a given graph, such as there are uh, edges between every pair of vertices in the component. The graph can be can be disconnected graph. Okay, and uh, go to understand this problem. First, we need to understand two things: BFS and DFS. We use these two in this approach. In this problem statement, we use so first BFS. BFS means breadth first search, and BFS explores a graph level by level, level by level, level one, level. Suppose this is level one, and it check. Previous all vertices and visited previous all levels, and visit all vertices current level before moving to next level. And BFS uses a queue data structure to keep track all of vertices to visit next, and is typically used find shortest path in a unweighted graph, mean disconnected graph, to visit all vertices in a connected component, and. Through example, real time, uh, in a social network where you can start from your friends and you move to friends to friends, it is level by level. And DFS means depth first search. DFS explores a graph by going as deep as possible along each branch before backtracking, and it starts at a given source vertex and explores as far as possible along each branch before backtracking. And DFS uses a stack data structure or recursion to keep track of vertices to visit next, and it's often used to detect cycles in a graph, explore all connected components, or search for a path between two vertices. And in example scenario, uh, you exploring a mass by going down one path until you hit a dead end, and then backtracking and trying to another path. Now, this is a undirected graph. Undirected graph means which we have not mentioned the direction graph. So it is undirected. And in this case, there is five vertices. These these are vertices, and these are edges. These straight line are edges. How many edges? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six edges. But can we um, call it good component? No. Why? Because all our nodes, all our nodes connected. Okay. But only two vertex B and D, B and D, not connected, not connected. So for this, we can't call it good component graph. Okay. Now in our example one, there are three vertices and three edges three vertices these are vertices and these are edges and we can see in this graph all edges and all vertices are connected to each other we can go path move to whole graph you can see we can move to one two three three two two uh, two one two two we move whole so in this this is a good component and there is only one graph we found good graph good component so in this output it will show one and in second scenario there are five edges and seven vertices five edges and seven vertices the in this subgraph you can see color change you can see this one all our vertices are connected to each other three to five five to four Four to three, all are connected. So it will we find one, one. Now in another cases, this these vertices is loop itself, loop itself. Okay. So this one, and now this this subgraph. One connected to two, fine, and two connected to seven. But one didn't connect to seven. For this reason, we can't say that. Say it good component. So only we found two, 
two good component so in output it will show two one this one and this one two now approach of this problem statement uh, first we represent a given undirected graph using adjacency list and this allows us to efficiency to traverse the graph and explore its components and uh, then we use dfs traverse the graph starting from unvisited vertex dfs helps us to explore all vertices reachable from a start starting vertex and mark them as visited and this process helps to identify connected components in a graph then for counting good components we perform dfs we count number of times we start from a new dfs traversal each new dfs traversal indicates the discovery of a new connected component and which may which may be a good component if fully connected okay now go to pseudocode in pseudocode first we declare a function to find the number of good components then we initialize an empty adjacency list for graph and then initialize a visited array for size of v plus 1 and initially call it all false then initialize a variable components to 0 and populate the adjacency list using the given edges then we define a dfs function mark the current node as visited and create a loop for each neighbor of the current node and if neighbor is not visited then recursively call bfs function dfs function uh, on the neighbor and iterate through all vertices if vertex is not visited then we call dfs on the vertex and increment components by one then it will return components now go to code what is our time complexity of this time complexity will be o of v plus e o of vertex plus h total and space complexity will be o of depth of graph depth level of graph okay in code first we uh, create import dq this and we create two three variables four variables for self adjust start and visited adjacent node and as start node and visited node which are visited Defend four variables then we initialize two uh, two counters for node and edges number for node and it is for edges it is fine and then we initialize dq for bfs traversal then uh, q append to start node to q and it visited uh, the mark starting node it marked the starting node which are visited and then create a while loop to dq the node for processing and then increment the node count for component and increment the edges count for component these two and then explore the neighbor of current node for neighbor in adjacent node and if not visited neighbor then it will happen to neighbor okay neighbor to the queue processing then visited uh, mark as neighbor as visited then check the component is fully connected every pair of nodes and the edges between them for this we create return num num minus one equals to edges then we define by number of good components this and then uh, we initialize adjacency list and then for edges in edges create a loop add edge from u to v suppose we suppose that and add edge from v to u both recursively backtracking also we say backtracking use backtracking this one and then you initialize visited array which are visited the nodes which we visited and then initialize count for the good components and then iterate through each node to check if the forms a fully connected component then increment count if if component is fully connected and then return to count of good components then compile and No, sorry. We'll See you in next video. Still in data